Good day everybody, this is Dale Anderson from Fabric Invest. I hope you're keeping well. So today I just wanted to discuss one of my favorite cities, Liverpool. 12 reasons I believe does represent a good potential investment. Number one, growth. Up until the 2000s, Liverpool was known for the opposite of the growth. It was in decline with the population booming in the early 20th century. Several huge economic shifts from the 1960s decimated the Liverpool economy. However, over the last 20 plus years, huge regeneration has been underway, which has brought to the city repair of a lot of the previous damage. Since then, the city has gone from strength to strength with projected 24% growth in property prices between 2020 and 2024. It previously saw a 22% increase between 2014 to 2019. There's plenty of room left for the city to continue to grow. In fact, the booming population of Liverpool in the early 20th century was still higher than it is today. All this old infrastructure, these old buildings are still being built upon, regenerated today, leaving plenty of scope for Liverpool to grow back into its old shoes. This shows the potential level its economy can or has reached. Number two, it has a great nightlife. If you've been to Liverpool, you will know the diversity of nightlife, uh, entertainment, had access to tourism, hotspot for many young people, stags, hen parties, international tourists, the Beatles, Liverpool Football Club, the list goes on. So Liverpool has several nightlife districts, historic others new and vibrant. It's got Beatles Town with the famous Cavern Club along with many other famous bars linked to the Beatles and uncountable number of international artists who have followed in the Beatles footsteps to play in the historic area. The area is popular for tourism and locals. There's Concert Square, a large area around the rope walks area of Liverpool. The clubs, bars are among the most popular and popular with the student population. It's got the Baltic Triangle, which I've seen significant regeneration over the last few years. The old cotton mills and old factories, which have now been regenerated into professional accommodation for young people tenants or, or students alike. So the Baltic Triangle is a new new area to Liverpool's nightlife, being part of the latest Baltic Triangle regeneration. At the centre, the old brewery was a furbish into numerous bars and food stores, along with quirky themed bars, crazy golf, things like that. It's also got the docks, a small number of bars and clubs in comparison to other areas of Liverpool, but offers a slightly less crowded option for a nightlife out in Liverpool. Number three, architecture. Liverpool has several world famous buildings such as the Liver Building. The Liver Building is famous for having the Liver Bird sitting on top and recognised as being part of Liverpool Football Club's emblem. Other architects include the Anglican Cathedral, designed by the same architect that designed the telephone booth. It's a dominating feature on the skyline. It's got the Metropolitan Cathedral, originally supposed to be a far greater building to dwarf the Anglican Cathedral. This is a modern in comparison. Together, the two cathedrals or pillars of the skyline. The University of Liverpool is a red brick building said to be the first red brick university. St. John's Beacon, key part of the skyline. You've also got the L1 Shipton shopping complex, so one of the largest open air shopping centers in Europe. The regeneration project saw a huge open air shopping complex. If you stand at the top, you will see it in the shape of a ship, in fact. Albert Docks, the docks are well recognised in Liverpool. The huge sprawling warehouses and red columns of the old wine and cigar warehouses are now hotels, restaurants, clubs and museums. The list of famous architecture goes on and on. Number four, universities. Liverpool is home to six higher institutions of education. The University of Liverpool, John Moores University, Liverpool Hope University, the Liverpool of School of Tropical Medicine, Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts and the City of Liverpool College. And this makes up a student population of 70,000. These universities bring a huge boost to the economy from international national students boosting almost every part of the economy from rentals, nightlife, retail, adding an additional 446 million pounds to the GDP. Number five, a variety of asset classes. Liverpool is known uh, to have previous mistakes and was being reliant on one industry. Today it has a huge versatility in its economy. You've got tourism with the architecture, nightclubs, football, the entry race course and history of the Beatles and ties to the Titanic. Student population boosting the economy, shopping and retail attracting many people to the city and there's still a strong industry presence at the northern docks. The commercial and office sectors continue to grow around the north of the city centre. Number six, major northern city. Liverpool is one of the major cities of the north and what they call the northern powerhouse. It makes a part of the northern powerhouse. It's not as large as Manchester but it is geographically very close and makes up a major part of the region. 
Number seven, internationally known football club. Of course, a football club which is world famous can bring a huge amount of money and tourism to an area. Along with these direct financial benefits, a football club named after the city brings a huge branding factor for the city, making it a household name all over the world. Number eight, below average property prices. Liverpool property prices are still below average despite ongoing regeneration and growth. Not only is this an indicator that there's still plenty of room for growth, but it opens up the opportunity for investors to enter the market at this lower level. The average property price in Liverpool currently stands at £193,000 compared to the UK average of £278,000. Number nine, higher rental yields. The average yield in Liverpool is around 6.1% compared to London, which is just 3.6%. This trend is typical for northern cities and Liverpool is clearly no exception. This is good for investors looking to build a portfolio of multiple properties as their income can quicker fund your next investment. Number 10, ongoing regeneration. Liverpool has seen billions of pounds in regeneration, but there's still plenty to go. You've got the Baltic Triangle, 128 million pound regeneration zone. You've got the Knowledge Quarter, 1 billion of developments underway. You've got the 10 Street regeneration, bringing 2,500 new jobs and office spaces. And you also have the 5.5 billion pound Liverpool Waterfront regeneration, part of Liverpool Waters. And this is just on the north side near the Princess Dock. So keep an eye out. There's some fantastic opportunities coming up in that area. Number 11, tourism. Liverpool is a huge for tourism and internationally famous for many reasons. Tourists are attracted to the Beatles, legacy clubs, museums and city tours, bringing an estimated 81 million pounds to Liverpool each year. Liverpool Football Club, known around the world and supported by millions, brings almost 500 million to Liverpool per year. Aintree Racecourse, home to the Grand National, bringing around 30 million to the economy and the famous nightlife, attracting young people, stags, hens, generating around 5,700 jobs, but also a lot of business activity, business events, which can sometimes be a lot cheaper or better value for money, having your events in Liverpool, which has a great economy, it's great for business, but it's a lot more affordable than London. Number 12, well connected throughout transport to other cities. Liverpool's main station, Liverpool Lime Street, has direct connections to central London. This journey can be done in under three hours. It's also well connected to Manchester with a connection of around 40 minutes from central Manchester. Birmingham can also be reached under, in under two hours. So I hope this is useful. We do have our latest Liverpool property investment guide and we also have our latest Liverpool Waters developments. If you're interested, please register, subscribe. We will send you some free information, free guides, help you make an educated decision. Hope this helps. Take care. All the best.